this one. Okay, so here's an example. Here's our first example for this session. A car is traveling at the speed of 72 kph. Unfortunately, the, car the car's driver sees a man standing 10 meters in front of his car. What should be the acceleration of the car so that it cannot strike the man? I'll be giving maybe a minute to think of how to solve this problem. Uh, maybe just an approach, then compliantly solve. Okay, it's better. Okay, so let me just pause this. Pause this. Okay, so let's solve this problem. You have a car traveling at a speed of 72 kph. Unfortunately, um, he sees a man about 10 meters in front of his car. Gaano kalaking acceleration dapat yung ipress ang kanyang brakes para huminto siya bago siya natamaan yung, yung tao. Okay, so, the, so anong tinatanong? What is asked? So, what we want is... Acceleration. acceleration. Actually, the minimum acceleration. Pero yeah. the minimum acceleration. So now, the question is, ano yung mga given quantities? So, ano yung mga given quantities? So, para tayo high school eh, no? What are the given quantities? So, final velocity. So, why why is the final velocity given? Sir, kasi kailangan niya mag-stop. Yes, because the, the, the object needs to stop, therefore the final velocity should be what? The stop. Uy! Sinabi ko lang kanika na yan. V equals zero. 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 So, ano yung initial velocity niya? What's his initial velocity? Or V not? So, 72. 72 kph. The, the initial velocity is given is 72 kph, right? 72 kph. And then, ano pang given? Yung time pa given? No, no, sir. Hindi given yung time. So, therefore, oh, sige. Importante yun. Importante yung idea yun. Yung time hindi given. What is the other another given quantity? Yeah. Difference between the change in x. And the displacement. The x. What we want is for this object to stop at 10 meters after. So the displacement there should be 10 meters. Tama? Yes, now, sir. Now, so, now you said that the time is not given. Therefore, can we use our position time function here? No, sir. No. Kasi time nga, position time nga eh. About, what, about, what about velocity time? No, sir. No. So, so ano pwedeng gamitin natin equation? Diba? Sobrang velocity helpful man. Velocity position. position. We will use the velocity position equation, which is V squared equals V naught squared plus 2A quantity X minus X naught. Ngayon, lahat ng mga hinaharap dito sa equation na to, given. So, except for what? The acceleration A. So we will solve for A and say that, okay, I hope you get this. A is just equal to V squared minus V naught squared over 2 quantity X minus X naught. And then by substituting all the necessary values, and then sa substitute mo na lang yan. Wait, yung V naught 72 kph. Sige na nga, i-convert ko na natin. Wait. 72 kph, we convert it. Ang lalabas dyan times 1,000 meters over 1 kilometer. Times, ingat sa units minsan ha, minsan may mga ganyang tricky na tanong. 1, 000, 1 hour, 3,600 seconds, and we get a 20 meters per second. And when we do that, we substitute our equation, thus we get A is just um, negative of 20 meters per second in square, all over twice ng 10 meters. And what you get here is negative 20 meters per second squared, which is our answer. Okay? May tanong ba rito? May tanong dito? Are there any questions in this item? None so far. None. Okay. I hope you understand this particular item. So, 